planning a short holiday? Usually you go to a famous tourist destination like Goa for beaches and nightlife, Kashmir for majestic hills, Rajasthan for historic elements. But if you decide to book them in the last moment, price of everything remains the same except the price of the flight which skyrockets. Cheap flights from Kolkata to other cities. If Google search was so easy. So I settled on Hyderabad after three days of rigorous search because I have already visited most of the tourist destinations in India. You go to Indian cities like Hyderabad because you are either visiting someone or going for a job or for medical treatment. I went there for five days with very low expectation but I loved it and want you to go and visit the best places out there. Basically you can see all there it is to see in just two days. Let me tell you how. Day 1. Reach Hyderabad around 9 am to 10 am either by flight or train. Go to your hotel first. High Tech City will be your best choice because there are many good hotels, restaurants and shopping malls. There you unpack and refresh then off you go to Golconda Fort. It was originally a small mud fort. Under Qutub Sahih dynasty over a period of 62 years, the mud fort was expanded by the first three Qutub Sahih Sultans into the present structure. Many famed diamonds like Kohinoor and Hope diamonds are believed to have been excavated from the mines of Golconda. Finally, in 1687, after an 8-month long siege led to its fall at the hands of the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. Apart from its history, the architecture is interesting too. Specific geometric designs have been curved to communicate from one end of the room to another or to communicate from one building to another. Some designs are meant for protection or deception. In order to know all this, do take a guide. He will charge you Rs. 750 but without him, the place will be all stones without meaning. To see the whole place on your own, it will take about two to two and a half hours. After Golconda Fort, go to the Chohmahalla Palace. This was the residence of the Nizams of Hyderabad. It is a vast area but only few corridors and rooms are open for public. It is now a museum where the weapons, vintage cars, crockeries and dresses of the family members of Nizam are kept for display. No guide is available so roam around in your own pace. It will not take more than one hour. After you finish gazing the royalty, take a 8 minute walk towards Charminar. Take pictures in front of it then buy a ticket worth 25 rupees to climb the stairs to the second floor. It is a steep climb but fun nevertheless. Look at the city from top. Charminar will not take more than half an hour of your precious time. Next, Google your way towards some of the well-known biryani restaurants in this area. Taste the local flavor. Post lunch, take an auto to BM Birla Science Center. People of all ages will find something of interest over here on every floor of this building. On the top floor, the primary attraction is the magnificent skeleton of Kotasaurus. Don't miss it. On lower levels, there are doll museum, art gallery and many more things. Kids will love the science experiment on the ground floor even if they don't understand it. Pressing the buttons and seeing something happen will give them joy. But before you go to your hotel, take a detour to see the Telangana Martia Memorial Building, at least from the outside, which is in the shape of giant oil lamp. Day 2. Wake up early in the morning and hire a car for the day. A sedan will charge you around Rs 3200 to 3500. Everyone who comes to Hyderabad goes to Ramuji Film City at least once which is outside Hyderabad. It takes about 1 hour to reach there. Pre-book the tickets to skip the queue. Reach before 9 am because at 9.45 am is the opening ceremony which happens only once in a day and I missed it. Ramoji Film City is certified by the Guinness World Records for being the largest film studio complex in the world, spread over 1,666 acres. Apart from sets and locations where movies of every region of India are shot throughout the year, there are eco parks where birds are kept either in cages or in an area where they can roam around people within that building. In the film city, everything around you is fake, meant for entertainment. Fake railway station, 
machine, fake airport, fake buildings. There are vintage cars which you can touch and sit inside. There are many shows which you can enjoy which happens in different time slot. Do watch the Wild West stunt show, Filmi Dunya and Space Yatra. If you are interested in some adventure, then there are fun things like big zip line, mount viking, paintball and many more. The closing ceremony happens at 5.30 pm. The entire place is well maintained, food and beverages are at every spot and a bus is always waiting to take you to the next location. Visiting Ramoji Film City can be costly but totally worth it. This is the perfect place for a family outing. So this is the itinerary for two days of restless touring. If you are interested in visiting the holy places then you can visit the Kutub Sahib tombs 20 minutes walk from Golkunda fort, also Billa Mandir on the way to BM Billa Science Center. If you have time then do visit the Nizam Museum where the gold tiffin box inlaid with diamonds of the last Nizam is kept. As I went back and forth from the old part of the city to the new part, I experienced both traditional as well as modern lifestyle. Old city preserved the poetic charms of the Nizam era in the mannerisms of the people in their food and architecture. The new city had all the luxury, comfort and hospitability of the modern generation. All in all, I had a great time.